It is known as the Ohio Fireworks Derecho of 1969, a line of severe storms so massive, hundreds of miles long, that it affected every city and county from Toledo to Conneaut, south to the Ohio River. The line of storms formed across southern lower Michigan that fateful afternoon and exploded in strength over Lake Erie's western basin. The storms then slammed Greater Cleveland and the Lake Erie shore just before 8 p.m. that warm Friday night. All this just as thousands of spectators gathered outside for picnics and parties and hundreds of pleasure boats anchored along the shoreline awaiting holiday fireworks displays. The straight line winds gusted between 80 and 100 miles per hour. Several tornadoes grew from the massive squall line as well, including one that injured 40 people in Perry in Lake County east of Cleveland. The wind damage was so massive all across the region, especially in Lakewood and west side suburbs. When we first got to the park here, I remember the sky up there it was like a weird green. It was like what sky shouldn't look like, <laughs> to be honest with you. News Channel 5 producer Dale Kirk was 14 at the time and he and his siblings were in Lakewood Park along with hundreds of others when the storms hit with hurricane force winds. And I remember I literally left the ground. The wind picked us up at some point and, and then dropped us down. I, I, I couldn't believe this was happening. Thousands of trees toppled, 10,000 homes damaged in all and several people dead and injured due to falling debris. 700 boats were swamped while the Coast Guard had to rescue more than 100 boaters in Lake Erie. But the carnage was not over. The storms moved south toward Worcester, Akron and Canton and along the way they dropped an astounding 10 to 14 inches of rain from Sandusky Bay south to Shreve in Wayne County. The result was historic flooding, records that still stand today. In all, 41 people died that night, 25 due to drowning, 500 others were injured, and also 10,000 homes damaged, destroyed. Damage estimates in today's money would top $1 billion. Whenever the wind started blowing or, or like a normal thunderstorm came in, I freaked out. I got nervous because I thought it was going to happen again. And it's like, I was, it took a long time to get over that. I'll tell you, it, it, I remember it like it was yesterday.